the transfer uh, from a sleeve to uh, a covert. There are different types of co covert and you need to make the transfer in the dog's favour. If you use a covert that's too weak, then you have a problem. And if it's too much too soon, then the transfer can set the dog back. So, we're going to use this one, a leather one. Another thing that I just wanted to talk about, there's so many people that are wanting to get into decoying and you've got to remember the, the damage that, 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 that occurs can change your life forever. Um, the right type of equipment, even though we know that this is a top quality, pick up that neoprene. That, again, is going to prevent the skin pinching. So even if the bite doesn't come through, you can get really bad pinch burns that's unnecessary. You know, I'm happy to see, raise your hands up. Yeah, let's see all the way around. Yeah. This guy's taking bites all the time. I will never compromise him. Uh, we have a protocol, a process that we follow so that um, he doesn't end up getting hurt um, pointlessly. When I see people showing um, the pictures of them being wounded and claiming that, oh, because the dog is real. No, it's because you use bed sheets as a, as a, as a uh, equipment profile. It's absolute bollocks. Um, I don't care the titanium teeth. If you use the right equipment for that dog, you shouldn't get hurt. I'm not saying that the dogs are not harder than each other. But if you know you've got a hard dog, stop using competition bite suits um, that are as light as these scratch pants for, for you know, Malinois that, that are trained just to grip and let go. You don't go and start using that on, on Mastiffs. Just a bit of advice. So, switching across to hidden slings. Um, first of all, it's really bizarre for me when dogs are being conditioned that the minute they see someone, he's got to go nuts. Just by walking into the room, or a dog stretching out and just trying to bite someone just for standing there. It shouldn't be the case, approach me. It shouldn't be the case. There's not been a problem. And this is very important for the stability. Nine. 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 For us, the whips and the rattlers must be faded. As we change to the hidden sleeves, we also change the profile of the potential weapons that could be used to harm the homeowners. Decoy is safe. The dog is able to really get a, a much nicer bite. Yep. And then for the out. Out! Nine. Out! Out! The possession for the bite is important, but at the end we want a very clean out, not a sticky out. Okay, the out, the verbal out, the true out. Young Dutch herder. We all know that they're very um, committed in their uh, in their calls to, to bite and, and never let go. But out should be out, even when in defence. Pull him in defence. Perfect. 
Again, the fight or flight. He must be very confident to stay forward. Some would say, well, does this not put him at risk of being injured? Him being at risk of being injured is better than the homeowner being at risk of being injured. of defense for him must be absolutely to stay forward show no fear and engage deliver a committed bite to mitigate that weapon being used on the dog or on the homeowner 